What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Mammoth Music, also known as M Squared. I'm Mike Kumar. And I'm Carly Smino. And for this episode, we got a lot of pop songs, but they dip their fingers into other genres of music like rock and dance, but it's mostly pop. So, Carly, what's the first artist we got for today's episode? All right, our first artist calls herself Gemini Wired. She is awesome because she's a Gemini, and I'm a Gemini, so. But Pisces are cooler. I, whatever, just Pisces, no. Anyway, so this girl represents great things. She's all about anti-bullying, which reflects in her song that we're about to watch. It's called... What Now? So here's What Now with Gemini Wired. Let's take a look.
Okay, that was Gemini Wired with What Now. Very powerful song. I mean, I'm all about the anti-bullying. I thought that she really got the message across and like many other artists, you know, she's getting the message out there and informing, you know, kids and teenagers that this is something that has to come to an end and I really enjoyed the song. Yeah, bullying is obviously still a huge problem here in the States and obviously I'm assuming around the world. So just to have something like music be able to send a message about anti-bullying helps everyone. But we're going to keep it moving here at M Squared and the next artist we got is Aya Marar. So Carly, tell me something about Aya Marar. Very unique name. Yes, this girl was born and raised from Jordan. She, very talented, dabbled in a lot of different types of music but settled for hip hop. So she took that to, you know, performing at clubs and things like that and eventually got to go on tour. So she even got to um, work with Calvin Harris who everyone knows. He's a very talented artist. So very talented girl. Yeah, she actually moved from Jordan to the UK when she was 17 to, you know, pursue her music careers and be independent and eventually, obviously, that worked out for her because she got to work with someone like Calvin Harris who's extremely popular here in the States. So here's her next, here's her song, Beg, Bar and Steal by Aya Marar. Let's check it out. It went from whispers in my head to my waking thoughts, the things I said. Wasn't sure, but how was I to know? Cause I see red when I should chill. Aya Marar with Beg, Borrow, and Steal. Okay, so this one, I like the beat, very upbeat, but a very serious undertone of all about, you know, like broken relationships and things like that. I mean, I like the music video. I like how she had different types of people, but it was kind of kind of sad. Yeah, for a happy song <laughs> talking about love, but then the music video being sad, it kind of put me off. So yeah, what was a little it bit. really happy watching the song, the music video? Yeah. But regardless, I'm sure we're going to have a lot more happy songs. But before we get to them, we got to take a quick commercial break. But don't you go anywhere. We got more music coming your way at M Squared. So keep it right here at Hawk TV. Swag. Swag. Swag, what? What are you doing? I'm on Hawk TV. 
HawkTV12.com. HawkTV12.com? Yeah, it's so cool. You can watch all the Hawk TV programs on here and it has the TV guide. And <gasps>
I guess, sad undertone to it. But mm -hmm. the way it was shot was very beautiful. I really love the cinematography. But we're going to leave new song and head to another new artist with Bzzz. I think that's what they're called. It's B with three Zs. Yeah, B. I, I like Bzzz, but whatever. I'm not sure if they want to be called B with three Zs. Like <laughs> Call them what you will. Right. But anyhow, they're the group Bzzz. B Z Z Z, however you want to say it. <laughs> they consist of two singer songwriters, uh, Sean Best and James Flea. They're an indie electro pop group, and they're from LA. What else they got? Yes, so like you said, they originated in LA. Um, they actually w work with band members now who worked with Maroon 5, Big Real Fish, talented people. Um, they're talented guys as well. So here's their song, Can't Stop Running by Bzzz. <laughs> So that was Can't Stop Running by Bzzz or B-Z-Z-Z. Regardless of how you say their name, I was a I was a fan of that music video. I yeah. really liked it. I don't know why, but I kept thinking of Hunger Games during the music video yeah. because it was the guy and the girl, they're together. Even though it's a competition between everybody else in that music video, right, like right. the judges were they were really mean and they, were, they kept saying keep dancing and everyone yeah. was losing. But the guy and the girl together, they became a team at the end. It was just like, it was like Hunger Games. You've seen Hunger Games. It was like that, I swear. <laughs> you had to watch it. If, well, you just did watch it, obviously. So, but I go watch Hunger Games if you haven't. Yeah. And then watch this music video, music video again, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah. That. Do that. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> but, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's, we all get on rants about Hunger Games. Anyway. Um, I liked the whole music video. I kind of wanted to be there. I think their voices, you know, mix well together. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Very creative music video, regardless of the Hunger Game rant. Exactly. Well, we have more coming your way. We have a short commercial break, but do not go anywhere because we'll be right back with more pop music. The first day stepping on the court, 
I couldn't keep up. That motivated me to step up my game. When I reach a goal, I set a new one the next day. The best feeling is getting to a place you've been fighting for. Tennis taught me to never give up in anything. School, sports, life. Your opponent has to earn their victory. Nothing in life is guaranteed, so education is important. Going to college is one of my biggest goals. I can't wait. Mastering the court takes persistence. So does getting into college. I've got what it takes. So do you. Welcome back to M Squared. We decided to get inside, get out of the cold because it's pretty cold out there. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, cold. we're gonna keep this episode moving with our next artist, Michael Butera, all the way from Melbourne, Australia. Started writing music at the age of 11, and he actually has like about 300 original works, so this guy's pretty busy, pretty busy yeah. guy. His song, Not Over You, landed him the number three spot on the breakout single charts, Billboard charts, in 2012. Let's take a look at his song, Ignore You. to tell ya, Romeo and Juliet just didn't end up well, but make a run through the night, rather than being alone, I can hold you in my dreams and then rock you on the dance floor, cause every time I'm with you baby, I really want more for you, I would fall to my knees, but is that And uh, that was Michael Butera with Ignore You, and kind of want to ignore all of you, Michael <laughs> Butera, because, I mean, you've had your music on the show before, 
and I posted those episodes and I'm gonna stick with my judgment. I just I just don't like your music, man. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about you. It's not the fact that you're from Australia. I love Australia, but it's just so cheesy. It's so plain. It's so generic. Michael, come on, you gotta you gotta spice things up, man. Boy, haters they gonna hate Kumar. He's I'm just, a hater. I'm just saying. He's a hater. I don't like you either, Michael. I'm sorry. Just the lyrics, like you said, cheesy and just whatever. Moving on. Moving on. Bigger, better things. Moving on, yes. and we're gonna move on to our next and final artist of this episode, Brielle. She's a pop dance artist, and her first independent release was actually nominated for, uh, in the 12th annual Independent Music Awards. So good for you, Brielle. Yes, she licensed six of her songs off to MTV, Snooki and J-Wow's reality show. Here's her song, Catch a Star, for you. <laughs> Let's hear it, guys. I am a dead inside of a box. Finding my way out is hard in the dark. Reaching the search for the light on the wall. Why can't you just turn it off? And that was Brielle with Catch a Star for You. Not bad. Yeah, I like this one. I like the cinematography of it. She had really cool shots. Um, I think cool it's some, effects. Yes, absolutely. I think it's something you could hear on the radio. Very upbeat, top 40 hit. I liked it. I really liked it. Not gonna, not bad. Good way to end the show. Yes. And unfortunately, with that said, that was our final artist and music video of this episode. You, but, but. You can catch us every day at 9.30 a.m., 1 p.m., and 7 p.m. on Hawk TV Channel 12. I'm Mike Kumar. I'm Carly Smino. And this is us saying goodbye and see you later.
fuck